Keith, that's everything you would have asked for your team for the first home game of the season. Yeah. Um, again, I think the pleasing thing is uh, a lot of the uh, the pillars of what we're trying to do uh, in our in our play were, were shown and borne out today, um, and, and the players get the rewards uh, for uh, for taking on board the instructions. And it, a lot of it is uh, simple, but there's a there's a there's a way that the, the players have got to adapt to it. Because we're not we're not trying to play percentage football. We're trying to play a progressive passing game of football, and and to do that you've got you've got to be brave. And sometimes it's the starting point, which means back to the goalkeeper. And you see a lot of teams that you know, they, they sit out, or team goes and marks them, uh, and they so they cancel it and don't play out. Now, I don't care if we're marked. I want us to play. One thing you've said repeatedly through the last few weeks is you don't want to be coaching from the sidelines during mm-hmm. games. We're seeing that at the moment. How pleasing is it that the message has got in? Yeah, well, I think that's because of the the hard work that we do, the training sessions we do. I think, that, and it has changed. There has been, we are doing things differently, and and that includes me, me myself. I'm, I've got a different approach now to to what I want from the players on a daily basis. Last season was it was we didn't do enough at eleven v eleven, probably because. You know, we, we didn't have as strong a squad, whereas now we have. And, and the pleasing thing is, and uh, the players that came in today uh, to, uh, to start the game, same principles. Uh, so as a squad, as a football club, the principles and the pillars we're trying to put down, they're going to give us a platform for us to be build uh, a successful passing team. You said that on Saturday. There's no way you could pick a weak inside because you don't see that this is a weak squad. Again, no. we've seen that. Tonight. Again, I think every, everybody in the squad. I think we've got 23, 24 signed players, and, uh, and I, I, I don't enjoy it. But I know the, the difficult part of my job is condensing that down to 18, um, and, and then picking me starting 11 as well. Not easy, um, but you know, I make decisions based on the games, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's. Uh, there is some disappointed players, which I'm going to have. Uh, but again, I don't hide away from it. Good conversations with the players. There's a freedom for them to come, come and see me and express express their concerns. Uh, sometimes the easy thing to do is say, "Well, the kind of team did um, but on, on this occasion. You know, uh, the selection was right, but the, the principles uh, and the foundation we're trying to build at the football club, uh, good, enjoyable. Three, three goals in two games." For Jabbo, he's showing everybody what he can be about with the goal scoring as well as everything else he does. Yeah, I, th- I think the pleasing thing is, and I keep on saying that thing, the pleasing thing is, um, we haven't done uh, a finishing session all pre season yet. Uh, and it's been done on purpose. Uh, the, stri- the, the striker work and everything like that, predominantly a lot of it has been, been done with, with their back to goal. Uh, and being a link up playing for, for us to be progressive because that's something we're still working on now uh, when, when, the, when, to, when to play forward the, the ball retention of the centre forwards and then when to make the angles off so we've still not done a finishing session yet and hopefully uh, we don't have to